really set myself up for failure with this cake. So some of you may not know, but I actually have twin daughters and this cake is one half of their birthday cake. Obviously, the pressure is on because I am a cake maker and having twin girls means that they both get a decision in what their cakes are going to be. And obviously, they're twins, so we try and keep it fair and they get one cake each every year. This is one of my daughter's cakes and it actually turned out to be one of my favourite cakes that I had ever made. You may have seen the movie Encanto. Well, this is Mirabelle from that movie. And I loved this cake so much that I set myself up for failure because it meant that the other twins cake had to be just as good or if not even a little bit better, <laughs> which it's not easy. But I'm going to tell you a little bit about the process behind making this Mirabelle cake and then I will show you the other cake that I made in my next video. So I know a lot of you always comment on not liking fondant, but actually I have started a new thing where I sculpt the shape that I need for things like the skirt, for example, out of chocolate ganache. I think it's just nicer to take a big bite of cake and get a big mouthful of chocolate with it rather than get a mouthful of fondant because I don't like fondant. Then I went on to doing the face and again I used modelling chocolate for the face instead of fondant as I find it's a lot easier to sculpt with. And again, it's chocolate so it tastes better. <laughs> I know some people do really like fondant, I found that out in my last video, but it's also some people's biggest yuck. <laughs> so anyway, I got on with um, doing the face and I've told you before, sculpting faces like this, especially Disney characters, is so difficult because everyone knows what they look like. And when this cake came out, it was actually at the peak of Encanto's fame. So everyone had watched that movie like at least three or four times and knew exactly what the character looked like. <laughs> Next up, I used more modeling chocolate to create the shirt. I love doing this because the textures really come out when you add in all those little creases. And then it was time to do the base for the skirt, which again, I used modeling chocolate for, which is great for things like this because the fringe hung over the bottom. And this meant that the modeling chocolate, when it was cool, it was nice and sturdy. Then I added a ton of decoration. There was so much decoration that needed added to make this cake look as good as the animated character. And I couldn't forget her Mirabelle on her skirt, her butterfly in her hand, and all those details on her shirt. And this was the finished cake. I love how this cake turned out. I'm super duper pleased with it. My Twins absolutely loved it, but like I say, I set myself up for failure because the other cake had to be just as good. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.